Video support and lesson plans to help you streamline your Primary Math 2022 program? Yes, please. Before I give you details, let's look at a couple of fun facts about this program. Did you know this edition of Primary Math was actually written in Singapore by Singapore teachers to reflect the newest 21st century skills? And the country of Singapore doesn't have a teacher's guide for this program because the instructors actually get trained on how to teach it. Therefore, the publisher of Primary Math 2022 sought out American specialists who are trained in these Singapore teaching strategies to create a teacher's guide and home instructor's guide with a daily plan and overview. These guides do a great job of adapting the instructional segments for one student, making it easier for parents at home teaching this program. However, because most of us were not taught math using the Singapore methodology, Teaching it to your own children can get confusing, even with a helpful teacher or home instructor's guide. Hi there, I'm Gina, one of the curriculum consultants at Rainbow Resource Center. I'd like to tell you about a video library from Math with Purpose that equips you and your student to get the full benefits of Primary Math 2022. This digital learning library can really save you some teaching time and give you videos for you and your student in an organized way so you don't have to go looking for them. This resource is called a video library because it is a collection of videos and other resources with the intention to ease your workload and help you and your student use Primary Math 2022 in the most effective way. It does not take the place of your home instructor or teacher guide, but adds extra support. A true Singapore curriculum has hands-on practice and discussion. These resources do not take away from this methodology, but help you zero in on what strategies to focus on. The subscription for this library is for one year and it begins when activated. Kindergarten and first grade have a combined video library and grades two through six each have their own. Jessica Kaminsky from Math with Purpose created this video library. She is a certified teacher and Singapore math specialist who has co-authored grades two through five of the teacher guides and authored many of the home instructor guides. She is also a homeschool mom of three who is teaching her own kids using the Singapore method. She walks you through what to teach and how to teach it in a homeschool setting. And there is an auto grade feature allowing your student to self check their work with multiple choice quizzes from the practice on your own problems. Jessica also shows you how to streamline this program so you can efficiently teach a math lesson in just 20 minutes a day using her 4C math mastery method. Each component in this 4C method outlines the parent and student's role within the lesson. The four C's stand for connect, communicate, collaborate, and comprehend. Start with the connect time where you spend five minutes asking what your student knows by using the focus question in the student book. This is not a teaching moment, but rather a time to see how your student is going to solve the question with hands-on manipulatives. Communicate, the next step is taking five minutes or so to go over the learn section. And this is where teaching the lesson takes place, and you zero in on what the objective of the lesson entails. Collaborate, the third step, takes about 10 to 20 minutes and is the learn together section of the lesson, allowing your student to show if they are understanding the new math concept. And finally, comprehend is coming back to the focus question from the beginning of the lesson, making sure your student comprehends it and also letting your student work independently on the practice problems. Jessica understands parents do not have a lot of time. In these videos, she uses this model more as a mindset shift for you to help streamline this program using these steps. Of course, each student is unique and some might require more or less time depending on where they are at in their math journey. In your video library, apart from the lessons, you will find a separate video course demonstrating how to best implement the 4C model. In this course, Jessica shows you how to use this research-based Singapore math program with its combined classroom practices to make it work for you at home. 
This video course is extremely helpful for you to view before you begin the program because she spends time modeling for you how she teaches her own children and breaks the 4C method down for you in an understandable way so you can feel confident when teaching. Once you subscribe and log in, you will want to begin with the Getting Started section that consists of a few short videos explaining how to use your video library, what your primary math 2022 resources include, how the Singapore method works, and how to be efficient using Jessica's 4C math mastery method. In this section, you will also find a complete list of recommended manipulatives, a pacing guide in PDF format, placement tests, and a listing of all videos available for the course. After the Getting Started section, you will find all your resources in order by chapter. At the beginning of each chapter, there are printable cheat sheets that show you how to guide the lessons in the chapter using this 4C Math Mastery model, and when to watch one of the three different forms of teaching videos. Education support videos, which are short videos giving you background information to help you teach well. Concept-based videos, which are two to eight minute videos matching the math concept that goes with the lesson, and exclusive videos, videos to use exclusively with specific pages in the student book. About how to determine what that means. So let's think about what less means. If I have less, or I'm going to end up with less, what does that mean? It means that it's getting removed, right? There's not gonna be as much. So here I have a number, what number do you see? Eight. And I want to know what is one less than eight? What would I do? How would I figure this out? Pause the video right here. Maybe find this with your 10 frame and then think about how this number tape or counting tape can help you to determine the answer. Then come back so that we can use our fancy math vocabulary to express the answer. Not all lessons have videos. However, there is always clear direction on how to teach each lesson, and lessons without videos point to a previous lesson and encourage review. Another great feature about this digital library are the multiple choice self-checking quizzes students can use to check their answers to their practice on your own problems. This provides immediate feedback to the student and can be done independently, lessening your teaching time. You might be wondering what you need to go along with this video library. As I mentioned earlier, you will still need this student book and teacher guide or home instructor guide. You might also want to purchase the additional practice workbook and mastery and beyond book, especially if you are just beginning to use Primary Math 2022. These books provide extra practice and are very economical. If you find your student doesn't need the extra practice, you can adjust it the next year. There are also digital resources the publisher includes when you purchase the home instructor or teacher guide. These include the reteach and enrichment books, transition guides, teacher and home instructor guides, and answers to the additional practice book. All these resources are in PDF format. Jessica mentions these resources in her library and when it might be a good time to use the reteach, enrichment, or transition guides. You can purchase the digital learning library separately or with a full year set of books. The full year set includes the digital library, student book, home instructor's guide, additional practice workbook, and mastery and beyond book. This program uses a concrete to pictorial to abstract approach. Students use manipulatives to understand concepts when in the concrete stage, then move to visual models in the pictorial stage, and finally to the abstract stage where students think mathematically to solve problems without manipulatives or pictures. And students may move back and forth between these stages when learning math concepts. Jessica Kaminsky understands the Singapore methodology. This digital library with all its resources shows you how to best implement this method and gives you the tools you need for success. So if you need extra support for Primary Math 2022, this video library is worth checking out. If you have any questions, please give us a call, chat, or email. We are happy to help.